Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm doing the 10 best combos for the brand new Blizzabelle skin. The skin is actually free and real quick, I'll show you how to get it. So you're going to want to go on to Fortnite on PC. Right now I'm on console, but this is what it'll look like on PC anyways. But you're going to scroll down and down here where these are, the special offers, there will be the Blizzabelle skin for $0 and you're going to want to purchase it there. And yeah, that's how you get the Blizzbell skin, but today I'm going to show you guys 10 awesome combos for this skin. So if you do go on to enjoy this video, make sure you smack that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And at the end of this video, I will be opening two Winterfest presents. So if you want to stick around at the end of the video, you will see me open the two Winterfest presents. So for the first combo, we have the... So for the first combo, we have the Blizzbell skin with the Castle Peaks back bling and the Icicle pickaxe. I absolutely love the way this back bling looks and it gives me season 7 vibes. I remember this location. It's so cool they put it on a back bling. And the Icicle Pickaxe is probably one of the most worth it pickaxes in the game. This pickaxe is only 500 V-Bucks. And I definitely recommend you guys buy the Icicle Pickaxe next time it comes back because it's by far the best pickaxe to run with this skin. For the next combo, we have the Astro World Back Bling and the Sludge Hammer Pickaxe. The reason I like this combo so much is because obviously they're both blue items so they match the skin really well, but I also like it because the sludge hammer kind of looks like the blue stuff that's in the middle of the Astro World back bling. They kind of look the same and it's really similar so I like this combo a lot. It matches really well and looks perfect on the skin because they're both that same color of blue. And overall this just makes for a really clean combo that I'd definitely give a shot. The Sledgehammer is such an underrated pickaxe. I'm surprised it's not sweaty. It's so clean. But unfortunately battle pass items usually don't end up being very sweaty. So that's probably why it's not. But honestly I love this pickaxe. I like how it changes shapes and stuff. And it's just a really cool pickaxe to run. In the number 8 spot, we have the skin with the Perfect Wings Back Bling and the Demon Slayer Blade Pickaxe. This makes for such a cool combo. I love the Perfect Wings. It's definitely one of the cleanest back blings in the game, and you get it in a pretty cheap bundle, which is really cool. I'm not sure when they'll bring that back, but it's definitely worth getting. And a lot of you guys probably have the Demon Slayer Blade because it was a Battle Pass pickaxe. And this combo matches really well. It matches like the white stripes and stuff all over the sweater and the socks and stuff, so it makes for a really clean combo. In the number 7 spot, we have the skin with the Shattered Wing Back Bling and the Reality Render Pickaxe. And the Rift stuff that comes off the Shattered Wing back bling kind of looks a lot like the stuff that comes off the Last Reality pickaxe. And honestly, it matches so well. It makes for a really clean combo. I think the normal edit style looks the best, but you could definitely get away with running one of the other two edit styles. They both have kind of the similar colors. It's honestly just personal preference, but I like this edit style on it. And honestly, this is just such a clean combo. The Shattered Wing is also another one of the best back blings in the game. One that's well worth the price. It comes with a Dream Skin, I believe, which is in the item shop all the time. So you can pick this up pretty much like on a monthly basis. In the number six spot, we have the Sockets Back Bling and the Skull Sickle Pickaxe. This is kind of like a Christmas Halloween combo, but I love the way it looks. The Skull Sickle is such a cool back bling. It honestly made the Skeletara skin worth it by itself, and it matches the blue skin so well. And for the Skull Sickle here, I went with the blue edit style, and it just looks really cool. And the reason I like it is because it has that fog that comes out of it, which matches the Sockets back bling pretty well, because it has fog coming out of it too. And it makes a really good combo that I definitely think you guys should run, because it looks awesome. In the number 5 spot, we have this game with the Inky Iyer back bling and the Harmonic Blades pickaxe. I use the single version of the Harmonic Blades, but you can also use the dual wield if you want. I just prefer the single pickaxes. But with the Inky Iyer back bling, this is awesome. It came with a starter pack, which is shocking, because this is a really good back bling to put in a starter pack. And with the Gilded Morphic Blade, this might be one of the most slept on Battle Pass pickaxes ever. I never see it get used and definitely should be because it's pretty solid. I'm not going to say it's like one of the top pickaxes or anything, but it's definitely a solid one that I like using. I think it matches the blue skins pretty well. And it came in the Battle Pass, so I'm sure a lot of you guys have it. You might have not even noticed that you have it because it's one of the ones that like don't draw too much attention. In the number 4 spot, we have this skin with the Herald Star Back Bling and the Leviathan Axe Pickaxe. The Leviathan Axe was one of the sweatiest pickaxes during Chapter 2. Honestly, it's not that sweaty now, but it's still really clean. And because it has like that ice that comes on it, it matches this skin pretty well because it has an ice theme. And the Herald Star is a really slept on back bling. It looks awesome on this skin. And honestly, it looks good on a lot of skins. It definitely should be run more. It came with the Silver Surfer way back in Season 4. But this is definitely a really clean back bling and pickaxe to run on this skin. In the number 3 spot, we have the Ninja's Edge Back Bling and the Neural Scratch Claws. The Neural Scratch Claws look similar to the swords that are in the Back Bling, so it kind of makes it look like a Back Bling pickaxe combo that looks really good. And honestly, I like the way this Back Bling looks on this skin too. Really, the Ninja's Edge Back Bling is really good, and I wanted to run it on this skin because it makes for a really clean combo. 
In the number two spot, we have the Cubic Vortex Back Bling and the Frosty Globes Pickaxe. The Frosty Globe was actually free and the Cubic Vortex was in the Battle Pass. And the Cubic Vortex was probably my favorite Back Bling we got in the last Battle Pass. It came with the Cube Queen and it is awesome. It looks so sweet on this skin for sure. I mean, I probably said that about a few combos on this list, but this is definitely an awesome one to run. It looks so sweet. And I'd definitely give this one a try, if anything, because it looks cool. You could also replace this with the Icicle Pickaxe, because that's an awesome one. And in the last spot on this list, we have the Crimson Crest Back Bling and the Abyssal Blade. I'm so glad they put this in Battle Pass, because it looks awesome on a lot of skins. It has a bunch of different colors for the Back Bling. As you can see, you get red, blue, green. And the blue version matches with this skin really well. The Abyssal Blade looks really cool. It was also a starter pack item, like I was talking about with that Back Bling earlier. And I don't know why it was. It's a pretty clean pickaxe. And this combo is definitely a 10 out of 10. Alright, so like I said earlier in the video, I'm going to go open my Winterfest presents. I have two of them because I've saved them up for a couple days. Alright, I'm going to open the one that's hanging here from Sergeant Winter. Alright, so we got the Holly Hatchets. These are some pretty sweet pickaxes. I bet you this will look good on the Chrysabel skin that we're going to be getting soon. Alright, let's open this one. Okay, and we got the Choice Knit Emo. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it makes an ugly Christmas sweater. Nice. Okay, that's a cool Christmas emo. Like it. But anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you smack that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out, dudes. Peace.